Okay, I'm gonna walk you through how I did a financial analysis for a client in very little time, maybe four to five hours over two days. And this is something that would have taken me in the past a whole week to, to accomplish, and it would not have been done as well. And I did it with Claude. So the end result is a document that looks like this. I'll probably make it much prettier. But the raw intelligence is here and it's fantastic. It's all based off of this PL and then a spreadsheet export of the opportunities from their sales CRM. And that was it. That's the input that I gave to Claude. You can see those documents right here. And I created a Claude project and I used artifacts to make all of this work. Did not need any custom instructions and used 27% of the 200K context window. This revenue forecast um, doesn't even need to be in here because it was actually created here, so that could be ignored. But what did I do? So I started out with looking at the existing business and creating some dashboards for that. So what happened in this business over the last two years, broken down by quarter, that's what the PL shows. And I said, make me, I gave it that PDF and I said, make me a dashboard. This was my starting point. I think this was just for one year, and so I said break out the non-COGS, or rather fixed expenses, over time, and it did that right here. And then I said, actually I'm interested, or I think it did it incorrectly, and I said, no, I'm interested in COGS. I'm not interested in COGS, I wanna see non-COGS expenses, and so then it finally got it. And, and then I expanded the data set to be two years, and we started looking at that by quarter. And then I said, build a sensitivity analysis, and it didn't do it, it was unsuccessful, and then it did. And then I think I made a couple iterations on this to look at net income, let me just get down to that. And the end result was this. What this allowed me to do is look at fixed expenses and understand how adjustments to those expenses, shown here in a monthly amount, would impact the annual net income and net margin. So for instance, if we took the office wages down by 30%, this company could expect a 4.9% net margin change or an additional 105K in profit. And this was just awesome. So a lot of that stuff gets pulled into the report and the whole time all I'm doing is screenshotting these things. And in this case, actually, I'm giving publishing this and allowing the CEO to play with it so that he can actually use these sliders himself. But for most of these charts and graphs, I'm simply screenshotting it and putting it into that document. And I found that to be very useful. So then we go back and I start iterating through this even more and trying to build out charts and graphs that are more useful. In this case, I stacked, I told it to stack the COGS and other expenses so that we can see the expenses compared to income and then simultaneously give me a line that shows net income quarter by quarter. And similarly, I asked it to create a regression or show me a trend line on net margin over time, break down the uh, fixed expenses, and you know, look at office staff and admin wages over time, and then plot a trend line for that as well. And all the while, I'm going through and pulling out these charts and showing, you know, just creating a little commentary for the CEO so that they can have the data they need to hopefully make good decisions. Then I started looking at the new business and there wasn't a lot of data to go on here because this company just implemented a new CRM and so all of the data was originally implemented in April and so you get these big spikes. And so what I ended up doing is filtering that out and just looking at it through May and ultimately settled on these charts which are showing that yes, there are in fact opportunities coming through. They're not closing within this three month window that we've got, but we also were able to break them down by value and show that the ones that we are losing are the ones that are extremely high value. Very important to know. Pulled that info in. New opportunities are being created, but they're not being closed or won, and we've lost some of the biggest opportunities by value. Then it starts to get really fun when you do the actual financial forecasts. So if I go over here, and do revenue forecast from historical data. So one of the things that you'll see throughout using Claude is that 
there will be errors. And in this case, I tried to get it to create a React component that showed me the quarterly expense baseline. It just didn't show anything. In another case, it would, it would show an actual error. And, some, and I would just take a screenshot of that and say this is showing blank. It would try again. In this case, it gave me a, a chart that was not really attractive or useful. And so I tried again, and it gave me this chart that's actually calculated. I think it's an SVG builder that did this one. So more primitive, but it, it still works, and I was able to use this. This is doing a revenue forecast based on the opportunities that were in the CRM, as well as looking historically at the revenue that gets brought in over the past eight quarters, and get seasonality data info from that, look at overall growth. I also just injected my own opinions about what it should be you know it, it originally projected at just a linear growth and I don't I don't think that's realistic and so I we Claude and I had a conversation about that and presented something that is more realistic so you can't you can't just give up your thinking Claude won't do it all for you you have to you have to have a conversation with it and you have to actually understand what's going on but if you do understand what's going on it can make your job go much faster beyond that I had it help me clarify some of the language in here. I had it help me create a COGS to revenue ratio that enabled us to do true expense projections, not just fixed expenses, but including the variable expenses that come with the additional revenue, but you had to reverse calculate the, that ratio of, of COGS to revenue and look at that trend and then figure out where that trend is. And what that allows you to do is have this break even analysis where you've got your expenses and then you're 67% of that that goes to COGS running as a parallel line. But then importantly, your break even point, which in this case, you know, this company has to make about 2 million bucks in order to break even. And so what we can also do from here is look at different weight levers that you can pull in the business and see their relative impact on profitability. By doing that, what we found was that doing a 10% price increase would yield an 8.9% increase in overall profitability, whereas a 10% reduction in fixed expenses would only yield a 3.4%. And also, if you can do a 10% reduction in your price of materials and labors, your COGS expense, then that'll give you a 6.3% increase in your profitability. I think I said all that right. So this is just really useful stuff, and I all of this is basically me writing. I didn't have I didn't have Claude write any of this, and this is where you kind of need a human in the loop to do this analysis. But I had it write the conclusion because that was easy because you have all the text there. So yeah, I highly recommend this approach, and let me know if you come up with with any other ways to use this.